two big points for us uh, tonight. Uh, we're tied with UMass coming in the game. They had two games in hand on us. Uh, it was a four-point game, and it was um, a game that we needed to get. It was in our own building. And uh, we found a way to get the two, po get the two points, which is good. Um, th that team always works hard. They're well coached. Uh, they come at you hard. They skate fast. They play the game fast. And um, you know we're, we're pleased to be able to uh, beat them in our building here and get the two points. Um, we're a little und undisciplined a little bit at times there, and uh, our penalty killing did a real good job uh, killing penalties for us tonight. And we've got to get better in, in that area if we're going to uh, continue to try and make uh, a run of the playoffs and, and play this tournament on Monday called the Bean Pot and have some success in it. So. Uh, happy for our guys. They worked hard and battled. And a uh, guy to my left uh, had a great game and had two goals. And uh, his line, McLaughlin, Rolk, and Tuckerman, I thought, played really well tonight. And uh, Chris Rawlings settled in as the game went along, gave us some big saves, and uh, pleased with the two points. You know, resiliency and in, 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 in the willingness to con continue competing and battling. And, um, you know, we've been up a couple, a few times this year by a couple of goals and given it back. And, in fact, we, you know, we've lost in, uh, in overtime in a couple of games in, in those same situations. So it was good to reverse the fortunes a little bit, but pleased with the way our guys battled back. And, uh, and they, they showed some composure on the bench and knowing that they had to, uh, there was still a lot of hockey left. Uh, well, we know they're a fast team, and you know when you're playing a fast team, you want to keep the puck down low, and we don't want to give them any chances, especially on the on-man rushes. There, they're pretty good that way. So, you know, we just came with the game plan. Um, you know, we always try to have a good, strong first five minutes, and uh, you know we didn't do anything special. We just kept the game plan, kept pucks down low, and just try to get as much uh, pressure as we could on them. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, it's my line too, you know, Glocks and Tucks, we got some chemistry and, you know, we're making a lot of little plays that are leading to goals and so, you know, I got to give them a lot of credit too. Uh, yeah, the first goal, uh, I mean, we were just we were just going hard on the forecheck and uh, all three of us went hard and I chipped it down low to Tuck and Stoney made a nice shot there and you know, I was just trying to crash the net, and luckily the block, the puck just pretty much landed on my stick, and I just buried it. And then uh, the second goal was pretty much the same thing. We were just battling down low, trying to get some cycle pressure on them, and then, you know, won a battle and threw it on net, and it went in. Nothing really special. Yeah, I mean, they're... They're, those guys are really good players, and they've helped us a lot throughout the year. And so, uh, you know, as a team, we know that we all got to step up, and uh, I think we've been doing that. And uh, you know, it's pretty much all we can do. You know. You guys are in decent position, Robbie, as far as playoffs go, but obviously it could be better. Is there a sense of desperation right now for you guys? Do you feel like it's it's kind of catching up on you? There is a lot of time left. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's we've been calling it playoff hockey right now because we know every point. Every game means, you know, it could be the difference between making playoffs and not. So, uh, I mean, we know that going into the games, and, you know, I think we've uh, we've showed up and we've been playing like it's playoff hockey. Similar question to you, Jimmy. What's your read on the, the level, desperation level? <coughs> yeah, we went into the into the weekend last uh, last weekend against Vermont with, with that mentality and that approach. I mean, we're, we're, we're in playoff hockey. Every game is a sudden death game for us right now. And if we want to jump back into it, we, we have to win some hockey East games. And you can't, we can't delay it any further. So uh, that's the mentality. It's approach. It's great because it also leads into uh, Monday night's game, which is a sudden death uh, type of you know, situation itself. So uh, our guys have responded. They've worked hard. And um, they've responded to that approach. And it's the only approach we can take, but they've responded. Well, it wasn't so much what we said to them. It's what we practice on this week in, in practice, during practice and leading up and just doing some film sessions and on ice, um, on ice work on, they, they've got 
some real skilled players up front, and and they move it well, and they show you a, diff a few different looks. And I, and I thought uh, Patrick Foley, who managed the power, uh, the penalty killing, did a great job in preparing our guys and um, in, in doing in, in w when they went to a different couple different alignments. I thought we were prepared in in uh, in, in pushing them down in certain points, but uh, reacting to what they were showing. So it was done, you know, Thursday, Wednesday, and Thursday in practice, and uh, we just kind of went over it in between the second and third just to make sure they were on board. But the kids, the players executed it, and they did a good job executing. Robbie, once you, once you killed off that, that five-minute major, what was the move like on the bench? Did it give you guys a lift at all? Yeah, I mean, you know, every time that we cleared the puck, you know, the bench, you know, we all rally. We're all, you know, we're all high-fiving each other. And, uh, you know, when you finally kill it off, it's like, you know, it's a relief. We're back to five on five. And, uh, I mean, I think it definitely gave us a boost. But... I mean, every time we get a clear, we get a boost from it because the guys, you know, we're just supporting each other. And so, you know, you just kind of build off it. Jimmy, by my count, I don't think you guys had any shots on the major. Uh, is that when you go into a five minute, is that part of the idea to, to limit shots, period, or to just make them bad shots if they have them? Yeah, they're going to get shots. Um, I didn't know they didn't have any shots. I, you know, I thought we did a good job. Um, clogging it up through neutral zone a little bit, so not letting them enter the zone. And when they um, when they did throw it in deep, I thought we did a real good job. Three plus one, three guys in the puck, and uh, and we were, were able to get some good clears on it. And so we were, I thought we were a lot more aggressive, which was good. Um, you know, you're trying to you, then when they get in a setup, you're just trying to take you know p shooting lanes and passing lanes away. And uh, they still had a couple of good looks, and, and Rawls. Uh, um, either they shot a wide or didn't get to the net, but um, yeah, you know, you're trying to limit the shots. But I, I think we did a good job before they got it set up in our own zone and helped us uh, maybe eliminate the, their shots. For did you get an explanation on the penalty? I didn't see that. Yeah, it was a penalty. It was uh, from my end um, where I was looking at. I thought it was more high chest area, but um, it was the right call. They said it was to the head. Elbow. Yeah. I would say yes. Yeah, um, you know we've <coughs> we've been a streaky team, right? We've um, we whatever it was early in the year, I, I forget, Mark. I try not to look back at those times. Uh, but then it was eight unbeaten. Then we we lost four in a row and three one goal games. And you know we were sitting here a week ago and um, in overtime on a on the, or two weeks ago on a tough loss in overtime. Just like you know this was a you know bounce that went our way finally in overtime we've lost three of those types of games in overtime this year and here you know the fortunes reverse themselves tonight but yeah it gives us momentum i mean you're, we've won three in a row uh, you know we can now start to talk about the bean pot we haven't talked about the bean pot for a long time because we've got too many good quality teams in hockey East we're playing so we can talk about the bean pot focus but yeah it'll give us some momentum but saying that you know, momentum is not going to beat Boston College. Uh, you're going to have to play smart, execute, and and be disciplined to beat Boston College. Probably similar question. What does this do for you guys going into you know being power with so much hype and you know drama and all that? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to help our team. You know, when you you win three in a row, it's you know that's always a good thing. Um, I think for the younger guys, you know, the freshmen, it's going to be their first time. This might you know you're going to feel you know the, the big scene there. You know, you're playing in front of the you know, a full packed packed house at the Garden, but uh, I think you know, knowing that we're coming off a three-game winning streak, it's gonna, you know, keep us calm a little bit, and then, uh, you know, because we know when we play BC, it's gonna be a tough game, and there's gonna be ups and downs, and uh, we're just gonna have to take it and roll with the punches.